How would you define MUN in a sentence? Um, I would say MUN is um, well, it's a replica of the actual United Nations, um, and it's a way of schools to get involved um, in uh, world matters and world issues and be, become educated on what's actually happening in the world. You find information about your country, but then in your head you think, you think, oh, this is me now. So you have to kind of get into that sort of way of thinking that I am the country, this is what I believe. MUN is a great way of getting to know other countries that you don't necessarily know about and also working with a group of people that you also don't necessarily know. I thought I wanted to push myself out of, out of my comfort zone because um, normally I'm not very com I'm confident and comfortable in talking in front of people so I thought MUN would help me um, improve these skills and get over my fears. I wanted something that would sort of give me a bit more confidence and I felt like sort of imagining I was a different country would help me project an image of self-confidence that I didn't really feel. It is really, it is such a scary thing to do when you first go, but now when I do go, I'm not worried, I'm not anything like that. I think it's just something that once you do it first time when you are young, then you suddenly get over that it's not this big, scary, daunting thing that you first thought it was. Um, any um, uh, delegates against? <laughs> <laughs> what do you gain from going to anyone? Empathy, I think, is the main thing because I literally have to put myself in other people's shoes and create other perspectives to really understand, to create a really good debate. What would you say to someone unsure about starting a new end? I would say that. I felt exactly how they did when, um, when, when I first wanted to start MUN. Um, and I would say just have a go. The more conferences and the more practice you get, the more easy it is. Um, and it is really interesting.